IFRS 16 covers leases. Now there are many aspects to lease accounting and this video is just going to look at the most common for now which is lessee accounting which is what happens when you pay to lease an asset. Now traditionally if you were renting an asset let's say you were renting a, a high street premises for five years you would just expense that as a straight line over the period. So if you were renting it for five years you would just have an annual expense of whatever your rent was each year. You would have no asset and no liability. That was nice and simple but the problem was it kind of understated the liabilities in a company's statement of financial position because you were committed to pay that for five years and they had to be disclosed in the notes to the accounts but the average user might not actually see the liability unless they dig into the lease notes. So IFRS 16 says well if you're using an asset for five years and you're leasing it for five years actually you should have an asset which is referred to as a right of use asset to reflect the fact that you don't own that asset but you do control it and you do have the ability to use that for a long period so say five years you would have that asset you would depreciate it over the lease term but also you would then have a liability and you would show the full payments for that five years discounted to present value so again users could see here's what i'm committed to and that's really common for high street retailers and a lot of them ended up putting a lot of liabilities on their books because it really showed the users here's the length of the lease here's what we're committed to here's how much we're actually going to have to pay whereas previously users would have had to assess that deep into the notes to the financial statements now the introduction of the standard could lead to a few maybe unintended consequences we may well see firms enter into shorter lease agreements so that the liabilities they record are actually lower. It might not be the best thing for the business, but it does show a lower level of debt on their statement of financial position. Also, bringing these assets in as right of use assets forces them to consider an impairment review. So we'll have to consider the value of the asset, which will be the present value of what you're paying, and really compare that to the value in use. So the cash flows the asset is expected to generate. So we might actually see, particularly with high street retailers, more of a focus on impairment with those right of use assets. So IFRS 16 really brings everything on the statement of financial position rather than relying on users digging into the notes. But it will increase liabilities, it does increase assets, and actually firms will maybe change their decision making and enter to short leases as a result of that.